Hi Cancer, welcome to Soul Whispers Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the month of November 2019. If you would like extra readings every single week, which are exclusive to my email subscribers, then please sign up by clicking the link below this video. And also please take advantage of my meditation deal, which I have going on, which is three meditations for the price of two. And I've created a kit for this, which is called Manifest Your Soulmate Meditation Kit. And this applies to manifesting your soulmate or your twin flame, basically anyone who's for your highest good. And that kit is the three meditations for the price of two. So that's two, sorry, $22 and 22 cents, and that's US dollars. So the link to that meditation kit is below this video in this the description box as well. So please subscribe to my channel and if you do subscribe please tap the bell icon and that will notify you every time I release a new reading and normally I'm doing pick a card readings every week as well. But you'll just get extra ones on top of that if you sign up to my email subscriber list. Okay so what are your love predictions for the month of November, please, for Cancer. You have the Nine of Swords. The Queen of Swords in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. The Emperor, the Star. So what's clarifying this Nine of Swords, please? You have the Six of Cups. What's clarifying the Queen of Swords, please? The Four of Wands. What's clarifying this Nine of Pentacles? We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. What's clarifying the Emperor, please? The Page of Swords in reverse. And what's clarifying the Star, please? The High Priestess in reverse. So there's definitely an energy for Cancer for the month of November to do with overthinking things. All of the Swords cards are in reverse. Well, except for that one. Um, and the High Priestess is in reverse as well. So not seeing clearly. There's some kind of excess worry. Sleepless nights. And it's to do with this, I feel like a certain person for some of you. Someone where you're wanting this reconciliation. Or someone where you are already in a relationship with them. But there's some difficulties going on. Or there may not be. There may just be these intense fears that something's going to go wrong. For some of you, it's like... I feel like you're single because you have the nine of cut, sorry, the nine of pentacles in reverse, but you're afraid that you're not going to be with someone. You're afraid of ending up alone. You're afraid that you're not going to manifest this happy relationship with someone. But again, I feel this, these cards, the swords being negative is you know swords are about the mind and perception it's queen of swords in reverse is saying you're not taking conscious charge of your thoughts because you know when we think of the law of attraction which is happening in every single moment whatever we believe is what we receive whatever we believe is what we manifest so if there's all this fear and doubts and anxiety and worries about what you don't want to happen or not getting what you want, then those thoughts, those beliefs are going to be blocking you from manifesting the happy, balanced relationship that you're wanting. Queen of Swords, this is a very powerful person. This is saying you have the power to cut through these limiting thoughts with that sword. But in reverse, it's like your thoughts are what are disempowering you. So I would recommend like reading The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle if you're really struggling with like negative thinking 
and it's really holding you back. Also, I would recommend the meditation kit that I mentioned at the start because one of those meditations is all about clearing out limiting thought patterns that are subconsciously sabotaging you um, and blocking you from receiving your birthright of a happy, balanced, harmonious relationship. Um, so you do have the power to change your thoughts. You have the power to, you know, create positive affirmations. It may be helpful for you to write down all your limiting beliefs when it comes to your self-worth, when it comes to love and relationships, and when it comes to receiving love. You may be surprised at what some of those limiting beliefs have been operating on a subconscious level that have been blocking you. Because like I said, whatever you believe is what manifests into your reality. Um, and it may be helpful to look at that list of the limiting beliefs and next to each one, write the opposite, write a positive affirmation. And it does require some time and effort, even just five minutes every day, reading through those positive affirmations and believing those positive affirmations, really visualizing them to be true. So for example, if you had a belief that people always cheat on me or something like that, you could write a positive affirmation saying, um, everyone is always really loyal to me. And things like that to really help you change that mindset. Um, because the subconscious doesn't know what is real and what isn't real. Whatever your thoughts are, your subconscious is going to believe is real. And that's what creates the vibration that attracts into your life, whatever those thoughts are. A belief is just a set of thoughts on repeat. So change those sets of thoughts by doing affirmations every day and it becomes a positive belief. And that's what you manifest. So the nine of pentacles in reverse, clarified by the knight of swords in reverse. Some of you may be feeling like really afraid of being alone. You may be feeling very lonely because this is like the bachelor or the bachelorette card. But in the reverse position, it's like you're not happy in that situation or you're not feeling secure being single. Um, so there's a lot of like turmoil going on inwardly emotionally the knight of swords in reverse this could be you trying to rush things when it comes to finding the right person um but when you're rushing when you're coming to this process of trying to find someone from a place of fear you know it causes you to that fear is like clouding your judgment you can make some poor decisions from a place of fear because fear keeps you stuck in darkness you can't see clearly in that darkness um you also may have man manifested people like rushing into your life with full of promises but then they were afraid of commitment they may have been like wanting to hold on to their being a bachelor or a bachelorette for dear life kind of thing they, they weren't fully emotionally available to you so this, there's the Emperor here with the Page of Swords in reverse. So I'm going to pull out a clarifier for this. What is this energy about, please? We have the Hierophant in reverse. So yeah, this is all about commitment fears. Um, some of you, they may... You may meet people who have these control issues, like they want to be the one that's in control. They don't want to be vulnerable. But deep down, they're like this page of swords in reverse. They're on rocky ground. They're unstable within themselves. The things they're telling you may not be totally truthful. They may be feeling or they are the energy of this page deep down, but they're making out like they're the emperor. Because they feel out of control and they feel insignificant, they're trying to make out that they are in control and that they're very significant. Um, the Hierophant in reverse is like, 
someone who has commitment fears or they're rebelling against like society's traditions about settling down or like having a commitment and you know that's not necessarily a bad thing because there you know there are a lot of social conditioning which isn't truly good for us but you know that's a whole other story um but even though it sounds cheesy it's true whatever we attract or whomever we attract they are a mirror of ourselves in certain ways so there may be a fear of true like emotional intimacy allowing yourself to get truly close to someone deep down you may have fears of getting hurt you may have fears of being abandoned or rejected or if you felt isolated and alone for so long you may have just got kind of comfortable in that energy you just kind of got used to that so there may need to be some introspection here not by overthinking things but connecting more um, through consciousness Again, my meditations can help you with that. That book, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle can help as well. Um, star, there's a healing that's going to happen for you this month. Clarified by the High Priestess in reverse. So a healing in terms of not being able to see or whatever you can see clearly is going to come into your conscious awareness. There's the water here that she's um, kneeling over. This is a reflection. You know, you could look inwards at your own reflection. Um, and whatever you discover, it's going to have this ripple effect in your life, is what I'm feeling. That Again, there's a balance here between... The relationships that you are coming into your life and your own vibration. So I'm going to pull out three lovers oracle cards for further clarification. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So like I said, manifestation. If you do those healing affirmations... If you do the healing within my meditations um, or whatever you feel drawn towards in terms of your inner healing work, it's going to manifest miracles. It's going to manifest a balanced reflection of this healed vibration that you're going to become. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So yeah, I feel some of you, you may have been agreeing with certain people in your life just to try and keep the relationship afloat, but it wasn't really serving you. It was keeping you stuck in a lot of fear and anxiety and feeling as though the relationship was slipping through your fingers because there wasn't a balance, a give and take. Um, a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So it is. I feel it is going to be a challenge to find this balance within. It is going to be a challenge to look in that reflection and see how you need to heal yourself as well in order to have this balance and the yin and the yang and the manifestation, the coming together of you and the person who's right for you. Twin flames, your passion ignites. So that goes really well with the yin and yang as well um so again balance agreements or disagreements challenging and supporting manifesting miracles um some of you you're going to meet your twin flame some of you these difficulties um power struggles are already within a connection that you're going through um and November, it is going to be challenging, but 
in the center of it all there is this balance card you're coming back to balance it starts from within the inner union um, creates a, a happy balanced union on the outside as well so I really hope this reading has been helpful and it's resonated and again if you'd like extra readings please sign up to those in the link below this video and please like share and subscribe and if you do subscribe please tap the bell icon and that will notify you every time I release a new reading so thank you so much